जा रहे Guys, look at this mini blitz of jack. Mini jack everywhere. See if they'll eat the giant uh, nomad plug. I bet you one will. Let's see. They're trying, they're so small, dude. They're all just mini jacks. Those look a little bigger. Okay, one. Big one's on. Wow, I missed all that, huh? That was nuts. Okay guys, so um, this, so what just happened was I was throwing my little spook while I had a giant mullet out back. And lo and behold, I get a small jack, like a two, three pounder. You won't see that footage because I thought I was recording on the little spook, little being six inches. And then my back rod just goes and this thing is glued because he got hit and it ran for like three minutes while I tried to get those trebles out of the little jack. I mean, this thing must already be exhausted because it was just going, 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 going. I lost so much line, as you can see here. But uh, this is a big fish. It took so much line. I gotta be careful with this dock here and this pole. trying to run again the only reason that I like using live bait over my spooks and poppers that you guys have been seeing me use I've caught 95% of these giants on top water is because when I'm alone it's just one hook to deal with there's a little jacks going again that makes it my life way easier when you're bringing in a 40 pound, 30 pound fish with a 12 inch lure in a net with giant spooks, yeah, that's not easy. She caught the current, so we have current going here. So she's swaying. might be a huge fish I don't know I didn't get I didn't get to see anything because I was fighting that other jack sucks
We got the marker here to contend with. We got boats coming. She's really big, man. That boat scared her. She's trying to run. I see her. She's big. Hard to tell from this distance, but. You know, I don't think it's a 40 pound fish. I'd like to break 30. I mean, the mullet that she ate, I wish I showed you guys, is giant. Had to be a 14 inch bait. Let's see. I'm fighting the current. Yeah, There she goes, trying to run, trying to run. Stay in the boat. Woo, she's big. She's real big, I think. God, I hate saying, I know, I'm so big. Look, 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 look. Oh my goodness, guys. Wow. Look, 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 Absolutely incredible. Something I've been doing a lot this mullet run is just rushing fish to get to the next one. So I'm trying to savor this moment. I already have what I came here for, which is a freaking mega fish. Look at all these fingers. Yeah, this is, this is 35. Insane. Oh man, it's a big one. I wasn't gonna use the landing net, but this is big, 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 really big. Of course, right now, all the boats in my town are going by. So hard to do so. So. Got her. Got her. Okay. We got her. She's on the edge of the boat. While she's there, hopefully she doesn't freak out. Let me get my other GoPro out. Two. Giant. Absolutely giant fish. Where's my focus? Let's get a weight. Well, boys and girls, there it is. 35 pound. Jack Craval, 35 pounds. Look at that baby. Let's let her go quick. <laughs> 25 seconds out of the water, maybe a little more. She's out of here. 
35 pounds, 34 pounds. This thing teeter totters. I always give myself one to three pounds because they move. It's going nuts. Let's get some more. Look at this. Come on, man. Come on. I'm trying something different, which is why I'm not getting bit. There we go. Big jack. Not a big one, but on the mat, Scott. Let's crank her. Yes. This is madness. Small fish, dude. Look at this fish, ate this plug. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Dude, look at this. And this little one has a remora on it. Oh my God, on the drop. Oh. You've got to be kidding. You've literally got to be kidding. I think I just cut my own line doing that. They're so small, but it's so fun, dude. Again, on the single hook, no mat plug, dude. It just shows you how ferocious these fish can be. Look at this thing, how insane. Go, did I cut my line? I did. When I went to cast, I caught my line and cut it. That's how you do it, eh, Benz? We need a freaking mega. See that? They're ferocious. <laughs> That's big ones. Those are bigger ones right there, right in the middle there. Here comes a freaking decent fish. Ah! Uh, that's a smaller one. I'm just double setting. Just in case a 25 pound plus fish decides to party. Just in case. Dude, they're trying to eat the plug off of each other. Are you kidding me, bro? Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow. Poor little guy. So easy to get off. God damn, dude. Oh, that was so insane. Oh my god, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Got it. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God. God, are they here? My trolling motor is working so hard to keep us here. That is insane, dude. I have a real one on, guys. Wow, I can't turn this fish. It's gotta be 40 pounds. Oh my God, man. It's coming towards me. Wow, man, unbelievable. So I don't know if we caught all that on camera. I threw out a mullet, it was instant and it missed. So I started reeling it in cause it was dead. Then it got hit, took a huge run and then it was gone. I put on another one, pitched it out, instantly started getting stalked. I decided to reel in cause I thought it would fire it up. It hit it, got it, hook pulled. Mullet was dead, floating on the surface. Came back up, destroyed it, and that's where we're at now. I'm using a right angler 7-0 inline circle. And this hook is like 10 for 12 on big fish, which is amazing because big fish like this, man, they pull hook pretty easy. I don't know if it got snagged or if it's just that freaking big. God, it's big. It's pretty big. God, dude. These fish don't know when to quit. Come on, come to Poppy. Come on. God, dude. So. I wish you guys could feel 
what my arm is oh my god it's big what my arm is feeling this is a tanker look at that thing I got it. Oh my God, man. Not all Jack are built the same. This guy is a freaking prime example of that. This is the hardest fighting Jack I've caught this year, I think. It's nuts, man. Hardest fighting Jack of the year. It might just have a lot of girth to it. We're definitely gonna wanna get a weight on her. Oh yeah, she's a heavy one. Not ready yet, not ready yet. 40 pounds, calling it. This is a 40 pounder. Oh yeah, that's a 40 pounder. God, I cannot get this fish's head up. This one's gonna need to be released extra quick. I mean, man, my drag is tight, guys. It's not dock tight, but it's, it's tight. Come on, baby. Okay. Hardest fighting jack of the year of 2022. I had one fight harder in my life. This is insane, man. I'm fishing this fish hard, 80 pound test. Okay, she's up. She's up. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Huge one. Absolutely. Dude, Remora on her. Go. Okay. Check that out. Right angle circle hook. Right in the corner of the mouth. Dude, look at this. This fish has had line on it for God knows how long, and it's still alive because this line has algae on it. Wow. There it is, guys. Another 35 pound bruiser. This thing has line hanging in its mouth. But check that guy out. Look at that thing. Quick release. Ready? Three, two, one. She swam off. Whew. She swam off good. Wow, guys. I have no words. I'm lightheaded. I'm exhausted. Unfreaking believable, man. No words. We've got Jack blowing up on the horizon. So let's pencil pop, because I don't think a shark will hit this, and if it does, it'll be epic anyway. And there's that jack. Come on. 
this isn't a big one, but we'll take whatever. Oh, I pulled. I rushed it. It wasn't big. That's a big one. That's a much bigger one. Still nothing crazy, but on the spook, we'll take them all. Come one, come all. Look how fast I got this one in, which shows you how hard fighting that last one was. This one is green. Dead for sure. I swam off, but I don't think that one's gonna make it. All right, guys, we got our live mullet pitching her out. I don't think this should take too long. Look at that boys and girls. What in the, oh my goodness. Come on dude, you cannot beat that. Making it harder for her. It's a big jack. Man, I could have got one on the spook. I don't know if you guys saw, I burned it in because I was like, oh my God, I cannot double up on giant fish. Like. That is not okay. <sighs> Something's wrong with my reel. It's not, it's not reeling. Oh, these jacks break reels. The jack didn't break it. I dropped this earlier and I might have messed it up. That was exciting. This is exhausting. You guys should feel how hot this reel is. This is the single biggest rod I own, by the way, guys. This is my South Fork Rods Custom Bend Special. Eight foot six, 30 to 50. Doesn't get any, oh my God. Doesn't get any beefier than this. We switched to a right angler. We switched to a right angler 
80J. So hopefully it doesn't slip because I didn't set until after. I think it's another 30 pound class fish, which guys, this is not common. Let me explain that. This is rare. It's coming towards us. Jack do this thing where they come towards you and once they figure out where they're heading, they freak out. But yeah, this is not uh, this is not common. This is extremely rare to get jack of this size, this consistently. Even for me, who constantly targets them. These are all trophy jack. I say with jack, anything over 10 pounds is fun. Anything over 20 is a good fish. It's like a 30 inch class snook. And then anything over 30 pounds is like a 40 inch class snook. Anything over 40 pounds is like a, comparing to a snook, like a 44 inch fish. And if you get happen to get a 50 pounder, that's like those prize 45, 46 inch plus snook. Look at that tail kick. Jack are very interesting fighters because they'll do straight runs like crazy. They'll shake their head like crazy. They'll dive down, they'll go up, they'll go sideways. So a lot can go wrong. A lot can go wrong. My favorite part is right here. Once we get them towards the end, I like to watch them in action. I like to see what they're gonna do. Look at this one, look, look, look. I don't know if you guys can see, but I just watched exactly what it did. It saw the boat and it was like swimming kind of comfortably. And it, it, it's, it's now digging towards the bottom. Just digging, just freaking digging, man. So. We're gonna try to get her up and use our back here. This is where a lot of people rush fish, break them off. Don't wanna do that. Hopefully she didn't swallow. Um, Cause I didn't see it happen. So let's uh, No, 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 no. So we're gonna do her one solid. We're gonna take this hook. Wow, that hook is so, so hooks do rust. Look, they do rust and get really weak because that hook just snapped. Got the hook out. Check that out guys, 28 pounder. And she has a second hook in her, but she's obviously doing good with it. I just tried to get it out and I snapped it. So it's coming out, it's rusted. We're gonna leave it in cause I can't get it. I'm just gonna do more harm. She's off guys. Yeah,